this is the first time I'm trying voiceover, so please bear with me. Uh, I'm going to make a page in my new Fahrenheit uh, Traveler's Journal. The page will be about Ice One's second album, Hard Is. Here I'm cutting out the pictures I chose. Uh, I want to do a violet, a green theme, a little bit springy, a little bit uh, fluffy and soft. Uh, all the pictures are from the internet. Most are most of them are just pictures that uh, Eyes One uploaded himself. Please bear with me with this name. I try to look up how to pronounce it, but I'm probably not doing it right. Um, here I'm using some of my Tombow brush pens to put some color in the page. Um, I was trying to blend them out with this water brush, but it didn't really work that well. Um, the lavender one went better, way better than the green one, but I still think it uh, did add a nice splash of color to the page. Uh, these pens are from Tiger, they're new bullet journal pens and they do not bleed through, or at least not on this um, in this journal, so that's great. My sisters are from uh, the um, from AliExpress and I really really love them, they're really easy to cut with and they're just amazing, easy to bring with me. Here I'm trying out where to put the pages and I thought that the pictures would look better if I uh, round the corners because I wanted a more soft looking page. Uh, the washi tapes I'm using are from uh, AliExpress, the purplish one, and I have a lot of them. They're a bit washed out purple colors. And the mint greenish one is from uh, Kruisvat, which is a Dutch store. And they sometimes work together with a YouTuber called Diana Leeflang. And um, these, this one is just really cute. I love the color. I also put it a black um, line around the cover of the album because I wanted the cover to really jump off the page, and I thought that would just make it a little bit more easy to spot. Here I'm putting down the last picture. I always print out more pictures than I use because then I can see what I want, then I can try what to do and I thought that this page needed a little bit more purple or lavender just before I start writing. I wanted to make a sort of review of their newest album so I wrote down all the names of the different songs uh, they have on the album and I did have a little bit of uh, issue with space because the pictures I printed out were so big I didn't know if I had enough space for all the text I wanted to write. So here I'm writing with purple the, the two names of uh, Goki Gen Sayonara and uh, Neko Ninaritai because those are both songs we already knew. They're from the first Japanese single they had, Sukito Iwasutai. And uh, I thought they didn't really need their own space, so I'm just writing down here how they're both Korean versions of a Japanese song and that I love them both but that the Japanese version is way better. I uh, had all the songs on shuffle on my phone so that's why I'm writing all over the place because it, they were just coming one after the other and I thought it would be nice to write about the song when I'm hearing the song because it will make my opinion easier, clearer for myself. So that's what I'm doing here. The picture uh, came loose a little bit so I thought it would be great to just put a little bit of the washi tape on there and I thought that Paige could use a little bit of more mintish green. And the washi tip actually has the sentence, a few of my favorite things on there, but I thought that just the word favorite would also be really good here. I would really like to talk about the songs or about the members, but my pronunciation of all things other than Japanese and English is just terrible. Um, 
I mean, I think my favorite members are uh, Yabukinako and Chewon. I am so terrible with names. Um, she's the one with the currently with the extremely red hair and the amazing voice. I think she's called Chewon. But again, my pronunciation is terrible, terrible. And so here I'm just writing some more about um, songs getting a lot of issues with space. But I did really like how these uh, bullet journal pens are extremely black. So it looks really nice on the page. It has a really nice contrast to all the soft colors I'm using. And it really puts the page together, if you ask me. I'm currently quite happy with these um, journals from Fernway, which is it's a Dutch from a Dutch company called Mus, and they have a lot of bullet journals. And I use their bullet journals for a really long time. And currently I'm just trying to find out what I like and what I want. Um, and these are really nice. I do think um, there's they have a lot of more bleeding than I thought they would, but they're nice. This is the finished page. <laughs> 